Hi there humans, welcome to another episode of Trigger Point Yin. My name is Meg and I'll be leading you through your practice. Today we're going to be talking about the levator. If you ever have pain in the tops of your shoulders and up the side of your neck, uh, if you often find yourself carrying heavy bags or if you find that when you're stressed or cold or nervous that you're lifting your shoulders up into your ears, your levator might be tight. And it is a muscle that runs from the inner upper corner of your shoulder blade and up the side of your neck or up the back of your neck and uh, connects into the base of your skull. Uh, so that's the path that it follows. Um, today we are going to need a lacrosse ball and you might need a yoga strap or something similar. I have a rolled up bandana right here and that's going to work just fine. So make sure that you are warmed up and let's get started. We're going to start with a stretch and this is where you might need your yoga strap or similar. You can position yourself kneeling and if that doesn't work for you, you can sit in a chair. Um, if you're not going to use the strap, you can just tuck your hand in between your knee and your calf. Once you have that tuck, roll the eye of your elbow forward. That'll plug the shoulder blade onto your back and roll the arm back into the socket. Then sit up as tall as you can. As you can see, my arm isn't long enough for me to sit up perfectly straight. I have a little bit of curve in my spine here. That's okay. Pull the crown of your head up. So that's gonna tuck your chin ever so slightly, trying to lengthen the back of your neck. And then lean your ear, the opposite ear over towards the shoulder. So as you can see, I am doing my right hand. My right arm is tucked uh, and my left ear is moving over towards my left shoulder. So you're trying to create as much length from the head of your shoulder uh, to the tip of your ear as possible. Once you have that, start to roll your chin down towards your collarbone as if you're trying to look just in front of your shoulder at the ground. And you'll start to feel that stretch moving uh, from the side of your neck into more uh, of the back right side of the neck. And that's the, the sensation that you're going for. If you don't get enough sensation here, you can take your left hand over your head to just above your ear. And without wrenching on your head, you're not using a lot of muscle here, just let the weight of your hand assist your head towards the ground. If you're going to use the strap of this tucking of your hand doesn't work for you, um, take your piece of fabric, your, your yoga strap, and you can put that uh, in your knee pit. And then I like to wrap it fully around my hand so I don't have to put so much effort into gripping onto it. It's just my hand is wrapped in it. It's pretty secure. And then same thing, sit up straight. I'm able to get a, a more aligned posture here. And then my right hand is bound, so left ear towards left shoulder. And then turn the chin down towards the collarbone. If that is not enough, left hand moves over just above and behind the right ear and assist your head moving down a little bit more, trying to keep that elongated posture, trying to sit up again as straight as possible and feeling the stretch on the right back side of your neck. And once you're here, breathe fully. Uh, get full expansion in the ribs, that top of the inhale will intensify your stretch. It's putting uh, tension into the system of the muscles. It's pressing uh, out into the stretch, so it will intensify the stretch. Make sure that you relax your face and your jaw. And as I'm doing right now, you can close your eyes and fully relax your face. Once you feel that muscle relax in some way, either go from a, a lot of tension to a little bit of tension, a sharp sensation to a dull sensation, uh, you get a little more range of motion, then you can release, come back up through center, 
Roll your shoulders forward a couple of times, roll your shoulders back a couple of times, and then take the other side. So you can move over uh, tucking the left hand behind the knee and sitting back, rolling the eye of the elbow forward, sitting up as tall as possible, and then right ear towards right shoulder. My right arm is fully relaxed here. Then tip your, tip your chin down towards your collarbone. And you can hang out right here with just the weight of your head or bring right hand across behind the left ear for that assist. Breathing fully into the ribs, into the belly. And staying here for a minimum of five breaths. But you can stay here as long as you want, um, or as long as it takes for you to let go of something. And you can always pause the video, do this longer, uh, and come back to it uh, to move on to the trigger point when you're ready. And release whenever you're ready, untuck your hand, and get some movement in your shoulders. And then we'll move on to the trigger point. So you'll need your lacrosse ball here. And like I said earlier, we're gonna get into the attachment point, which is located at the inner upper corner of the shoulder blade. So I'm gonna demo my right side first. Um, so you want the lacrosse ball just to the inside of that corner of the shoulder blade. Um, so if you reach over your shoulder, you can feel the top spine of the shoulder blade then follow it along until uh, you feel the corner and, and the shoulder blade starts to move down before it gets to the spine. And just at the inside of that corner, that's where you want the lacrosse ball. So to get into that, what that will look like is laying down on your back and you can always put the lacrosse ball on the ground and then lay down on top of it rather than holding it in place the whole time. So whatever is easier for you. So once you get it in the right place, make sure that your legs are relaxed. Um, if you're gonna have your feet on the ground, knock your knees together. If you can be together or knees wide, legs can be fully extended. I'm gonna keep feet to, or knees together, feet wide. And sometimes having your feet on the mat can help you push into that lacrosse ball if you need a little bit more pressure. And you should be feeling sensation here. So if you're not, move around until, until you do feel something. And then you can get some movement in your arm to start. Uh, I have my hand touching my shoulder. So my elbow is fully bent. I'm drawing some circles on the ceiling, both directions. You can also do some uh, snow angel shapes with your arm. And then find a place for your arm to rest that gives you a good amount of sensation. I will sometimes tuck my hands behind my head, uh, letting my elbows open up, or lay with cactus arms, that tends to be a lot of sensation for me, or sometimes lace my hands together above my head. But you might have your arms down by your sides and that will be the best variation for you. So really play with the arm positions. And again, once you're here, fully relax as much as possible. You can always put on my body scan video while you're sinking into it. That'll go through um, drawing your tension up your body uh, muscle by muscle to fully relax and, and check for places of tension. If you can do that on your own, uh, take whatever breath technique works for you while you are waiting to relax fully. Then once you're finished, you can take the cross ball out and set up for the other side. Um, you can either do the stretch on one side and then the trigger point, or do both sides of the stretch and then the trigger point. There's not um, a rule about, about the order of things, but do, do both the, the trigger point and the stretch. It'll just make it uh, a more complete therapy. So uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, I hope you can let something go.